Hello everyone, time to get down to business and unravel some stars. And I do mean business because Venus has just ingressed Capricorn, where it will remain until January 3rd, 2023. Uh, and business is definitely at the heart of, of that placement. So Venus as a planet, being the goddess of love, rules our value judgments. What matters to us, what is important to us, what we invest our emotional and personal energies in. What we like and what we dislike, our, our fashion, our aesthetic, how we relate to others, all of the above. The problem with Venus being in Capricorn is that Capricorn is the wintry sign. It's the sign where you it's the sign where you go outside and it's frosty, cold, bleak. All the trees are barren and bare and crooked and hunched over like warty old crones. It's not a time that tends to inspire much warmth or spontaneity or joy when you just know there is going to be so much more coldness up ahead. And that says a little bit about what Venus is like when she's in Capricorn, in that after having traversed those last nine houses of the Zodiac, she's feeling a bit worn down. She's feeling a bit jaded, a bit disillusioned, a bit misanthropic. When she first began her journey in Aries, she was full of hope and optimism about the basic goodness of people, about the willingness of life to be on her side and always make her victorious in every single fight. But after going for all those other signs, she's realized that things are not that simple that people will disappoint you, that people will let you down, that love is not this great, great salvation, that we'd hoped it would, and that in many instances, when things get hard, you find yourself on your own. And when you come out of things with that kind of disillusioned philosophy, then what you really value more than anything is your own ability to survive no, mot no matter what, to have this spirit of indomitable perseverance that can always keep going no matter what obstacles come its way. And because of that, Venus in Capricorn actually sometimes likes obstacles, obstacles. It sometimes likes challenges. It likes having difficulties thrown in its path so it has an opportunity to demonstrate its fortitude. If there's a simple way of doing something, Venus in Capricorn might choose the economical way of doing something, but it also might choose the hardest way just to show how much toughness and grit it really has. Um, but because it values survival, for most of us, we equate survival with the ability to sustain ourselves materially. That means being able to accumulate money, being able to be a good worker, being able to be disciplined and put one's personal happiness and joy to one side to focus on this bigger long-term goal. Because security isn't this thing that just comes overnight. In order to have real security and substance in the world, we need to be able to put down these thick roots that tie us to the earth so that if some wind comes along, we're not instantly uprooted, but we stay. And so it's all about trying to cultivate that staying power. Um, so... That means having always a long-term view of things. And Venus in Capricorn likes having these long-term goals. It likes having a plan for the future. It likes saying that everything I'm doing now, no matter how small, is all leading to this point where I will be totally self-sufficient, I will be totally independent, and no one or anything else in this world will be able to take it away from me. So it has a stoic philosophy, but that does mean that in terms of its relationships with other people, it can be quite guarded, defensive, jaundiced, and not necessarily very charitable, because it's always trying to achieve this stability that it feels that this changeable world is trying to rest around it. It looks at other people as always as potential competitors, as potential threats. Now, just because Capricorn has this, this tough, earthy, outer bearing, that doesn't mean it actually feels that way in the side. It's cultivated that as a defense mechanism because it is actually one of the most emotional signs. You know, in the ancient medieval manuscripts, Capricorn was depicted as being a sea goat, so being a goat on the top part, so showing that bluff, stern, horny... <laughs> mountain conquering uh, beast on the outside, but below it had this fish's tail showing all these hidden emotions that go on underneath. 
the fact that it has emotions that tend to get attached to things very, very strongly and struggles to let go of things just as quickly. And it's so terrified of having that sensitive emotional part of its nature that it tries to just block it out, to repress it, to push it down as much as possible so that no one will ever have an upper hand on it. It will always try and make sure that outwardly it is composed, it is respectable, it has this fuck you yet gracious uh, front that just feels that you know, it has these castle walls built around it, which no one will even dare to penetrate. Um, and it can be very hard to, to exchange loving feelings with someone when you have those inner wounds. Because even if you meet someone you like who touches you very deeply, you're always asking yourself, this person might be nice to me now, but will they be nice to me in a month's time, in half a year's time, in several years' time? Can I really trust this person in the long term? You know, it might be happy to have these, these short burst flings and, and bouts of, of sexual exchange because that is also part of its practical viewpoint. But in its relationships, it's always thinking of the long term goal. Will this person support me financially in the long term? Are they a good investment? Can I trust them with my emotions and my feelings? Um, so it's less about do I love this person more about, is this person a safe investment in the world? Are they respectable enough? Are they solvent enough? Are they stable enough? Are they going to help me reinforce those walls I've put up? Or are they going to be a source of chaos instability that will knock them down? Anyway, <laughs> I feel like I've worn myself out with that and haven't covered as much as I wanted to, but just to put in good willing and say, hey, there's another video. Here's Venus in Capricorn <laughs> summation for you. Um, if you have any questions, please send me a message and lots of love to you.